Okay. I'm looking at day 219, exploring self-acceptance, allowing self-compromise to be accepted by others. So I realized within this point, it was based on a, f a point of inferiority within myself and how much this point of inferiority I saw with my living, how much I would compromise who I was, what I stood for, um, what I thought in those moments within, or how I wanted to direct myself in those moments and not because I went into a uh, fear of what are these people going to think of me or is this kid going to like me? You know, all the points of compromise and then with allowing those thoughts to go through, is he going to like me? How are they going to think of me? Are they going to think that I'm, you know, crazy or stupid or and they're not going to like me because I do this. And within allowing those thought patterns to go through my mind, I go into a compromise within my own self. Something that I would do to impress the other, to have the other like me, and not actually live the point of how I really wanted to re or act in that moment. So holding myself back or suppressing myself because of a desire for others to accept me. So within this point, it also creates a dependency within myself and a kind of need within having the other person always affirm their acceptance of me and if I don't get that affirmation from them if I don't see that point within the relationship between us then I go into a point of you know mind chatter of they don't like me what did I do what happened and, you know define myself so much on how the other is treating me and how the other is acting towards me and so I just started I've been walking this point for a while and realizing that, you know, this is no way to live and it's, you know, within myself I'm much more, I'm much a stronger person than just someone who's just going to compromise myself to thought patterns and, you know, being accepted by other people. Um, because I found standing up for myself and standing within principles of who I am and what I stand for and standing with those that see the principles that I live um, are people I want to be around and work with. So standing up for yourself not standing up for yourself, but standing within a point of honoring yourself also allows you to see reality clearly because you're not stuck in your head and you're not defining yourself by others, but you can see, you know, what's really going on because you're stable without any needs. So I found this very helpful within walking this process that I'm walking because it's not always easy in terms of being with other people and you know gauging where they are within how they feel about you know different um, views and politics and different things that are going on in this world so um, you know, being trusting myself and not always compromising to make others feel good or make try to have them accept me, but really stand on my own two feet empowers me because 
I realize that I can do it and I can stand on my own and the people that I really respect are the people that you know stand as well on their own so um, I've been walking the agreement course in the destiny and we started learning about self-acceptance and self-sabotage and one of the main points that we sabotage ourselves with is not appreciating ourselves and desiring that appreciation from others so it's really to walk a point of seeing where in your life you go into that point of sabotaging yourself and suppressing yourself to you know try to gain something from another like acceptance or you know compliments or you know do things for other people that you ordinarily wouldn't do but you want to do it because you want them to like you and accept you those points are actually you're limiting yourself and you're not allowing yourself to really live in the physical and the present um, you know grow within a relationship with another person as you're not looking for anything from that person you're not looking for any compliments or um, appreciation from them like in a relationship with another person you accept yourself you appreciate yourself and you're stable within yourself you're not in need of anything so you know walking that point within yourself and then helping your partner if they haven't reached that point yet reach that point within themselves and then from there you can really grow as a unit and you know expand yourself within really things that matter you know different activities that you enjoy to do with the, your partner or you know the physical intimacy points of really growing within that point because you're not looking for anything but you're expanding yourself within you know what's happening in the moment so it's an interesting point to look at and see for yourself where you you know compromise yourself for another and why you do it it's helpful to write out the points and obviously I'm you know walking this point of self-forgiveness where you forgive yourself for compromising yourself and giving yourself to another and defining yourself by how others treat you instead of really defining yourself on who you are and how you live and appreciating yourself for the things that you do and the achievements that you make and achieve within your life and you know give yourself appreciation there's definitely more to this point but it's not flowing today so I'm going to end it here and check out my blog and check out the links um, to get more info on the destiny process and understand what the process is of writing and self-forgiveness and self-commitment statements and living in self-honesty. It's pretty empowering and I recommend it. Thanks for listening.